Brisbane on a one year working holiday visa. We have no job, no accommodation, no friends, and to be honest, not really much of a plan. So let's see how this journey unfolds. First things first, we needed somewhere to sleep, so we booked an apartment for two weeks in the city. Hello, and welcome to our apartment. So, first things first, you walk through quite a narrow corridor, and you have the kitchen. So, you've got the fridge, the oven. The dishwasher that doesn't work but we've been given a bottle of wine to say sorry about that a big belfast sink love that a table the balcony overlooking brisbane and a lot of the river the main living area which is fantastic with a tv down here which i didn't notice and nearly put my bag into it then we have the bourgeois with a double bed quite comfortable <laughs> Um, and we have the bathroom in here, shower, toilet, sink, and this is my favourite bit, the utility room. So this is our home for the next two weeks, which is the longest we'll stay in the place since leaving England five months ago, but more on that later. Time is now ticking and we only have two weeks to find somewhere more permanent to live in the city of Brisbane. So we now need to find a job in order to pay for the new accommodation. It sounds simple, but in order to find a job, we need a tax file number, a bank account and a CV. And in order to find accommodation, we need to create a profile on a website called Flatmates. The ATO also provides taxpayer information to treaty partners overseas. Triple three, eight, so five, after a few phone calls and a visit to Commonwealth Bank, we successfully acquired our TFN and bank account. We now just need to apply for some jobs, but that's a task for tomorrow. So, it's day two of trying to move to Brisbane. We are writing our CVs, printing them out and then distributing them both online and in person. It's now a waiting game to see if anyone gets back to us with an offer. It's now day three of trying to live in Brisbane. We've got jobs applied for, mm -hmm. but we're actually going to go out and see what a bit of Brisbane has to offer. Yeah, the last two days all we've been doing is proper boring stuff. So we're actually going to go to South Bank, it's a nice day, and we're going to have a little coffee or a beer. Yeah, we are. Fun fact about Lauren, she loves to crochet. So we're now heading to South Bank for a drink. Which is the first place that we came in Brisbane where we decided that we wanted to live here. We thought this is the place for us, so I'm looking forward to having a little sit down and a drink. Absolutely, but then after a drink we're going to go home, apply for some more jobs, do a bit of our own thing and I'm going to start making a v-neck sweater in coral blue. After a lot of crocheting and coffees, it was time to see what job offers had come our way. Zero. Absolutely nothing. Perhaps our dreams and ambitions of living in Australia were coming to an end and we should just book the next flight home. Or maybe we keep trying with some fresh ideas. So I went and got something called a white card, which most construction or labour jobs require in order to be on site. I then took to Facebook and joined as many Brisbane groups as possible and advertised myself looking for work. Finally, a few offers came rolling in for landscape gardening positions. My technique was unusual, as I went to Coles to buy some bananas and was asked by a fundraiser for a donation. I had to politely decline and explain that we had very little money and no job. This then led to me being offered a job as a fundraiser. Our luck had finally turned and we thought we were on the right track. However, these jobs only lasted one week due to various reasons, which we won't go into, which left us once again with no source of income. It was also now time that we had to leave our Airbnb. Our profile had been created on flatmates, but we hadn't found anything that suited our circumstances yet, until we got a message from Marcus. Offering us a room and a bathroom in a very nice apartment located fairly central in Brisbane City. We had just enough money from the work that we had been doing to allow us to put down a bond and two weeks worth of rent. I then bought a bike for $80 and signed up for Uber Eats. This was actually a decent job but it wasn't sustainable. Once again we were sat in our apartment applying for job after job until finally Tom landed a gardening job that he enjoys. And I had also found my feet serving brownies and cakes in a shopping centre. Morning. We've now been here for about two and a half months living in this apartment. So today we're going to show you a bit of a normal day for both of us. So I've got a few jobs to do. As you can see, we're sat in a car. 
yeah, we've uh, bought a car in Australia, so that's a bit of a mad one. But yeah, this actually needs to go to the garage. Not sure if it's the best purchase of my life, but we move. And then Lauren is working, so you'll see her day as well, as long as she remembers to film stuff. It's seven o'clock. I'm gonna go set off and drop this at the garage and then go about with our day. Good morning. So it is eight o'clock and I am just about to walk downstairs to get the bus. I shall take you to work with me. So every morning I obviously use public transport to get to work and we use one of these go cards and it cost me around three pounds to get to work there and back. When I was working in Leeds at home, it used to cost me £12.50. So I have just arrived at work 15 minutes early and I'm going to go and grab a coffee and do some scrolling on TikTok until my shift is due to start. We're here, let's get it dropped off. So that's that dropped off. Now I've got to get a bus back because I've got a haircut at half eleven. So yeah, a busy little day in the office. Hopefully that will get sorted and it won't cost an arm and a leg. Bus time now. So we're now back at the apartment and I thought it's probably time to give you a quick tour of this place because we've been here for two and a half months now and we haven't shown you around. So let's have a quick look. You walk through the door, you're greeted to the kitchen, our room is through there, nice and messy of course. Nice kitchen area, it's a very nice flat, landed on our feet. Through, little seating area, and then the my favourite bit is this view. Can't get tired of it, you get a really nice sunset every night as well, so hopefully I'll show you that. And I think I'm going to set up here and do a bit of work. That's the next plan. And then our bedroom. So I've decided to give our room a quick tidy or else Lauren probably won't be too happy with me. But yeah, we've got the balcony with the same view as before. There's my bike for my Uber Eats. And that's how I used to get to work before we got the car. And then bed. Yeah, pretty nice. Hello. So as you can see, things aren't quite as exciting or eventful as they were when we were in Asia or Europe. But that's just life and we've had to go to work and earn some money because money makes the world go around, Lauren. Yes, it does indeed, Tom. And we've got exciting things planned, but again, we need the money in order to do those exciting things. Lauren, what are we doing? Well, the first thing that we're doing is we are moving out of this lovely apartment with Marcus and his two wonderful girls, Elsie and Nala. We are moving into our own apartment, so not too far away from here, but it'll be nice to have some space for just the two of us. And it'll be the first time that we've actually lived, just me and you, other than in a van. So that'll be interesting. Exciting. And then the other thing that I'm even more excited for is, obviously you saw that we've got a car. Well... We're going to go car camping, aren't we, Lauren? Allegedly. Definitely. And we're going to fold the seats down, get an air mattress, blow it up in the back, and away you go. Possibly. Definitely. <laughs> so, <laughs> we can't wait for that, can we? Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> I am not 100% sold. I just, I don't know about sleeping in a car out here with all the snakes and spiders, just be fine all good i wouldn't worry about that hmm. but yeah that is pretty much what we're up with literally for the last two three months we've just been working as much as possible to try and pay for living yeah and we've had some amazing days out as well so we went to the gold coast with our friends we've been to redcliffe twice yep. that's got like a farmer's market and a beach and um, the sea, obviously. <laughs> so it, it has been great. Like life out here is very much a more relaxed standard than well, yeah. it is at home. Just a Sunday, and sun shining, go chill. Like there's a the pool. pool. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you would consider subscribing and liking this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. But once again, no pressure from us. And yes, we shall see you next time.
Goodbye.